Hi, I'm Philip Dockery. I'm the new fellow at Parker Cornea. I started a couple of weeks ago and I did my first DMAC in the OR last week. And so the first week in the OR, I was doing some of the steps of DMAC with Decimenorexis and graft unfolding. But I want to share with you my first case and walk with you some of the learning points that I've been learning over the last couple of weeks. And so here, um, we start DMAC. Uh, you can see the graft or the eye is already a little bit bloody. That's from a subtenons injection uh, to help the patient feel more comfortable. I'm making three paracentesis, two really mainly to work through, and a third one for our AC maintainer. You may notice the first paracentesis, the right one, probably could have been a little more inferior, where it does, isn't as close to the main wound later. Injecting some lidocaine right now, just so the patient feels more comfortable. And then here, what I was talking about, you can see the main wound and the um, par right paracentesis being very close to one another. And so that will kind of interfere during the surgery, and it really doesn't give an additional vantage point. And so with DMEC, we like to strip um, under air um, so that we get better visualization. And it's also important in DMEC to be very comfortable using your right and your left hand, um, regardless of your handedness uh, for surgery typically. And so I start my decimenorexis with my left hand and actually I'm finishing it with my right hand. And during the scoring process in the periphery, um, one thing that I've learned is it's very important to be very gentle. Um, you always hear the term scoring, but it's really almost like just tracing the posterior cornea. Because if you push too hard on the posterior cornea, instead of just stripping decimase membrane, you'll also um, score into the stroma, which makes the decimenorexis much more challenging, as I've found out in previous videos. During this scoring process, it's paramount that you go further out into the periphery than you anticipate. Near the limbus, you want to go behind each of the wounds and behind the AC maintainer. And then during the stripping process, you start peeling it. And again, this process is more gentle than I had anticipated as well. It's, it's really just peeling it away as opposed to trying to score or strip it off. You want to make sure this comes off in one piece because if it starts to peel off in multiple pieces, uh, keeping up with them and leaving little fragments is very easy to do. Um, as I'm moving around, you can see that I go really into the mid periphery, engage at the curve, and then pull towards the center. And then in this part, I'm grabbing at the apex of where the fold is and pulling towards the center. These movements should be very slow, controlled, and continuous. Um, there's times where I'm really just picking at it and almost being a little bit um, teasing the, teasing the decimenorexis. Um, that's really not the best way of doing it, I've found out. Um, it's really better just to have slow controlled movements because you're more, less likely to tear decimase membrane and you're more likely to just peel it off in one piece. And so I think here is really where you can see me start to really grab a good piece of it and I slowly pull it all in one movement and you're seeing it really strip away much better than when I was teasing it. Kind of grabbing it from the edges, wadding it up into a ball, and then pulling it out through the main wound. You can see out in the periphery there's still some more residual fragments, so I'm going in with the mellis scraper here and removing those peripheral fragments just so that I have more space to work with during graft unfolding. And here I'm moving the AC maintainer from um, across the eye to me to over toward to proximal. Moving the mellis scraper over towards where the AC maintainer was, trying to remove those residual fragments because when the AC maintainer is in place, sometimes it's difficult to get those fragments out. And then after I'm satisfied with how much of the decimated membrane is removed and no residual fragments, I go in to make a PI uh, using a thermocautery device. Um, we make ours intraoperatively. Um, just to, where we don't have to do it at a laser preoperatively. And so you can see the bubbles forming, and that's just signs that it's uh, cauterizing the iris. And then after I feel comfortable with how much of a PI that I've made, I will um, remove the thermocautery device and proceed with the surgery. And so before I inject the graft, I make sure the, graft, the, air, the chamber is deepenable um, so that we can manipulate the eye as we need during graft unfolding. So here I inject the graft. I see it's really in a single scroll pattern. Really tough to tell the orientation of things. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove some of the air bubbles from the eye so that they don't interfere with graft unfolding. That's paramount. 
And then here, I'm like, well, what? I'm going to try to push the graph up into the angle to see if I can get figure out what orientation this graph is in. And then after pushing it towards the angle a little bit, I see it form a double scroll. And to me, it looks like it's in a right side up orientation. So I'm going to grab the cannula and hit parallel right on top of the graph as it unfolds. And we can see that it's right, right side up based on the orientation mark on the, the top of the eye in this video. The graft is a little decentered, so I'm going to deepen the chamber and then shuffle the graft over so that it's in a better position. And then after I do this, making sure all of the edges are unfolded, I can then go in with the air cannula and um, put air underneath the graft. Since this is a fairly shallow eye, I can actually put air in peripherally um, without worrying about moving the graft. And so you can see here, sliding the cannula underneath the graft and injecting air, raising the graft up against the back of the cornea. Um, would like a little bit more of an air fill than this, and I'm not seeming to get it through the main wound, so I move over to the paracentesis um, to be able to raise the graft completely and complete the surgery. Um, so this was my first DMET case. I feel like there's a lot of things that I could learn on and improve on. Uh, one of which being the first, the initial wound creation and making sure that my wounds are far enough apart where I have good access points at different parts of the eye. Another thing is really getting better at gently scoring for the decimenorexis and stripping of decimase membrane um, so that I don't engage in stroma or have small fragments that I'm working with. And then the last thing is understanding and seeing the orientation of the graft after I inject so that I know what moves to make to better unfold the graft more quickly and efficiently. Um, thanks for joining me during my first DMET case, and I hope to share a lot more cases with you over the next um, year or so.